Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am showing you what I got for my kids for Christmas and a couple of extra things sprinkled in there, basically from my TJ Maxx Marshalls Home Goods haul this year for Christmas. I have one of my favorite shirts on because I am a big Ray John fan. No Ray John in this haul, but if you're interested in some of those videos, I'll have them linked down below, so feel free to check them out. But in this video, I am mostly focusing on what I got my two toddlers at Marshalls. So, today I went to Marshalls and I got quite a few things. I was actually with my son, my three-year-old. So I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old and he picked out some things that he was interested in getting or gifting and he helped me pick out some gifts for me that will be from dad. <laughs> Um, and most of this stuff is just things we actually needed, but I found some really great deals and I just wanted to share with you what I was able to scoop up today. So the first thing is just pajamas. The kids need pajamas. They are growing out of their pajamas. They are one and three, but they're both wearing 2T right now. And my little guy's room gets really, really cold in our new house. Um, and I can't quite figure out why it gets so cold in there, but basically all of his pajamas are not working because um, they're just too thin. So I was really trying to find thick fleece pajamas because we are, you know, in the cold season now. And I was able to find quite a few pairs for him that I grabbed. And these will be, I'm gonna pull, I already pulled one pair out for him to wear tonight, but these are gonna be like wrapped up for him um, from mom and dad because Santa doesn't bring PJs, that would be too boring. Um, all of these were $7.99 a piece, so very, very reasonable, especially compared to what you would pay in the store. A lot of these are Carter's brand and they're like listed for $20 on their website, although I feel like they're always on sale. They have like those doorbuster sales where they're like between, I don't know, 10 and 12 bucks. Um, but I got this one with trucks on it and it's just striped. I got this one with bears. I thought this one was especially cute. Um, in case we have a girl someday because I like to try to buy gender neutral clothes when I can. I actually didn't know if my second was a boy or a girl, so um, that's the way I like to do things. This one has a truck on it. Hamilton thought Theo would really like that uh, cement mixer. And then this one has various truck pattern on it and they are all zippers, they all have feet. The fifth one that I got, um, doesn't have feet, which is kind of actually more ideal for daytime, like for weekends if he's gonna chill in his jammies on Saturday or Sunday morning, but it's not ideal for bedtime because it, like I said, does get very cold in his room. So I didn't care that a lot of these had feet and he probably will only wear them for a few months because he's gonna potty train soon, hopefully, um, but probably not at night for a while. So I figured it was worth picking them up even if I wasn't sure about the feet footed pajama situation. So I also grabbed three pairs of pajamas for my son Hamilton. He is recently obsessed with Paw Patrol. He had never even seen it until he started pre-K and all of his friends were talking about it and they got to watch it at school and now he's obsessed with uh, Paw Patrol. So I actually found all of the pajamas on clearance for Paw Patrol. One of them is upstairs because he wants to wear them. Um, and then these ones uh, just say like play with the characters. They are fleece, so they're quite warm. And then um, these ones aren't fleece, so he'll grow into these. These are a 4T. I thought maybe these would be um, good down the road, but they were eight bucks, so like I picked them up because I can definitely wrap those too. He's not gonna wear them anytime soon. And then, how cute are these little slippers? I don't even think these are gonna fit his feet, but he was like kind of obsessing over these. Um, I might have to have him try these on, and if they don't fit, I'll return them, because they're a five six, and I think that's borderline not gonna fit, but one side has Marshall, and the other side has Ch Chase. <laughs> I literally just learned their names today. Um, so there they are, and these were $9.99 in the little kids' boys section. Christmas is always the right time for me to buy them socks and underwear, that kind of thing, um, because we, if you hear yelling in the background, it's my husband making funny voices and telling them a story. <laughs> I can hear them all the way upstairs. Um, they're in the bathtub right now. But anyway, I was saying that uh, Christmas for me, when it comes to like stocking stuffers and things like that, like I always look for socks and underwear, take them out of the package, stuff them in the stocking, stocking, like they need it, it's a basic, then I don't feel like I'm wasting money on more like small toys that they're not gonna play with. So I did grab two packs of underwear. I grabbed a size 2T, 3T in Thomas and Friends, Thomas the Train, which is like Hamilton's favorite. He's obsessed with trains. This is the size he's in now, so I don't even know if he's gonna wear these. 
but his little brother definitely will. And like I said, they are basically the same size now, so we definitely need more underwear. These are seven bucks, which if I were to buy this exact pack, uh, this comes with six. If I was to, wait, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So they were a dollar a piece, which is an amazing deal. I have purchased these on Amazon before, literally the exact same package, and I paid at least double. So yeah, and when you're potty training, you just like need the characters that your kids like. So that's why I paid almost double. Um, but yeah, I grabbed those. And then he's gonna be moving into a new size pretty soon, and they had Paw Patrol, which again, he's really obsessed with lately. So this was a five pack. Um, for eight bucks, so not as good of a deal, but still a good deal. They were on clearance, and it was the last pack they had, so I scooped those up, and I'm sure he will grow into those soon. I picked up socks for the boys as well. I got Theo a pair of two to four T, because he's growing into that size, and these are Elmo, so they have like Elmo and Cookie Monster on them. He's kind of into Elmo. Hamilton's really not. Um, and then this is a bigger pack. I hope these are the right size. I didn't even like look at this very closely. These would be $30 if you were to buy these at Carter's. This is a eight pack, um, but I paid 10 bucks. So just basic socks that will go with everything and they're gender neutral so they can be worn by anyone at any point. Although socks don't last forever is what I'm noticing. Uh, all the socks that I passed from Hamilton to Theo are kind of getting pretty weathered. So grab more socks for them. And since they're both in the same size right now, I am like just not having enough pants in general for the both of them. Um, and I just love when I find these Tommy Bahama sets at Marshall TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Well, I guess Home Goods doesn't sell clothes, but you know what I mean. Um, they always come in like a two or a three pack, and they have like the cutest designs, but they're like not cartoony and not like little kitty. It's like what Michael would wear, but like the smaller version of it. Like I feel like he would wear, I mean, he wouldn't wear dinosaurs, but you know what I mean. Like they're kind of preppy looking. Um, so this pack comes with a little t-shirt, which I think the print is very, very adorable. And then it comes with just these like kind of, I don't know what color you would call this. It's not quite a salmon. It's like darker than that, but these little pants with the drawstring waist. And I love when they're um, elastic at the bottom so that they don't trip. And this is what really got me was this delicious, and yes, I'm using the word delicious because it just feels yummy, but this like super soft, it's got like the Sherpa lining, um, and it has this little dinosaur hood. They have another one that they've both already grown out of um, from a different brand, but with a dinosaur on it, and it was just like always my favorite when they wore that. So I couldn't resist this one for him, so I picked this up. Um, this was kind of expensive. This is like the most that I will ever spend on clothes for them. $24.99 for a three piece, so kind of expensive, but they really do need some more clothes right now. So I also like to thrift clothes, but sometimes they just need something fresh and new. So I felt like $24.99 for this three pack for this adorable dinosaur hood was worth it, and I can hang on to this for Christmas and wrap it up. He's not gonna need it like ASAP. The boys also really need hats. They've grown out of their hats. Um, well, they still fit, but they're not gonna fit for much longer. So I got them both the same hat. This was uh, $8.99. It's by Capelli, New York is the brand, two to four T. Um, I like it because it has like the side where it can cover their ear, but it doesn't quite have like a big palm that they could rip off the bottom. So that's what happened with Ham's last hat it does have a little palm at the top and it came with just like a little pack of gloves so for $8.90 or $7.99 excuse me I thought that was a good deal I've been looking at hats a lot lately online and like they're all way more expensive especially at like even places like Target so I scooped up two of these we also grabbed these Peppa Pig gummies for $2.99 at the checkout because Hamilton was obsessing over them um, he's gonna have to earn these. I told him he can earn these gummies if he does all of his like green choices for the week. Red and green choices is the system we use. Green for good, red for things we shouldn't do. So he will get to earn those. And I got this too, like right at checkout. I didn't spend any time really looking at it because it's hard when you're in the checkout and you're like rushing to get through and then like there's people behind you and you're feeling pressured but the line is so long that you're like, Am I shopping, am I not shopping, I don't know. But this is a game and it's um, called Trio of Trivia, Music Trivia, three trivia sets, uh, rock 80s versus 90s and then chart toppers. My husband is a huge music buff, so this was eight bucks, 7.99. Um, and it, I guess there's like a buzzer that you hit on the top. I don't know, maybe we'll play it a few times. 
Um, but I grabbed that for him because it's like really hard to gift him things. <laughs> I don't know. So maybe he'll like this. And then I grabbed myself a few gifts. Um, let's be honest, moms typically have to stuff their own stocking. I will insert a video above if you need any last minute ideas uh, around your house for what you can put in your stocking when you realize your husband or spouse or, spouse or significant other or somebody forgot about you. Uh, but I did pick up a couple of things for me that Michael can gift to me. So I grabbed a pair of gloves. We live in a much colder climate um, now and I do have nice gloves, but these are not leather. They're North Face. They were $19.99 um, and they fit really well. And I just like the material of them and you can never have enough gloves. So grab these to stuff in my stocking. And then I let Hamilton pick hats for me, which I think he did a good job. We really debated which hats to get, but we went with black and then he really liked the green one. So we grabbed two hats. The green one was $14.99 by Calvin Klein. And this black one was also $14.99, but it's by a brand I have never heard of. But um, I'll probably keep one of these out because it is starting to get colder. And then Michael can put the other one in my stocking so that I will have more things to open on Christmas morning. Oh, we missed a pair of socks. So this is a pair, another pair of Paw Patrol socks, but they're like ankle socks, and there's no tag on these, so I have no idea what I paid. Oh, Hamilton also wanted this book. It was $6.99, Paw Patrol Countdown to Christmas. I told him he could get it, and that we could put it up on the shelf, and that he could earn it. Because he only got to pick one thing in the store for being like such a good boy today. He got to pick something and he picked this like Marshall stuffed animal that he found with like a Santa hat on it, which is actually cute. He's been carrying it around all day today. Um, but this can be something that he earns like over the next week or so. And I grabbed this sweater for me and I didn't try it on. So I'm hoping that it will fit, but it looks really cozy. It's white, which is kind of risky. I don't know. I'm going to ask my husband if he wants to gift it to me for Christmas. It's, uh, it was $16.99 and it's by Dan Skin Brand, which I don't know, maybe that's why it looks so comfortable, but I just thought this would be like perfect for just working from home because I'll look nice and profesh from the waist up, but I'll be like nice and cozy. That's everything I got today at Marshall's. I did get a couple of other things earlier in the season from Sierra.com and from Marshall's and a different TJ Maxx, which I talked about already in a different video. So if you want to see that, I will link it above. Thank you so much for watching and being here. I hope your shopping is going really well this holiday season. If I gave you any good ideas or you just liked my video, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you can, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. I have had lots of haul videos and just like holiday gift idea type videos come out this season. I'm doing some decorating videos. I am a work from home mom in a corporate job. So I'm just juggling all the things and during this holiday season, I'm just trying to uh, vlog as much as possible. Vlogmas is coming. So yeah, hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of the fun. And I hope you have a great holiday. I'll talk to you next time. See ya.